Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel, Create a Journey. I am Amber Masterson and I am excited to go through this tutorial with you today. We will be talking about how to create um, mock-up images in Procreate. It is a really easy way to display your artwork on Instagram or social media. If you have an Etsy shop, you could even make your artwork for your pictures on Procreate. It's just super simple and we're gonna go right into it today. But before we go any further, stop whatever you're doing, click the red subscribe button below. That way you'll never miss a trick or a tip or a tutorial that we put out and we will be most appreciative if you do that. Okay, so let's jump right in. We are gonna be using my iPad Pro 2017 version. This is the 12.9 size. I enjoy the bigger size because I do all of my design work on it. We're also gonna be using um, the Apple Pencil today. We will be using the Procreate app. You can find that in the App Store for $9.99, I believe. It is 100% worth the cost. It's this little icon, and so if you don't have a copy of Procreate, you need to go over and grab it. All right, let's get right into it. We're gonna open our app, and we're gonna go to the plus sign up here, and you can, depending on what you are creating today, it um, the size is gonna matter on what you're using it for. For example, if you're using it on Instagram, you're gonna wanna use it as a square. If you're using it on Etsy, you're gonna wanna get the photo sizes for Etsy. Or um, if you're using it for Facebook, kinda do your research on where you're gonna use this product demo or this mock-up and decide what size you need for that purpose. So, we're gonna get right into it. Here we go. Once you open up your canvas, I'm going to bring in a mock. I'm going to bring in a mock-up, and I'll kind of tell you where I've got these mock-ups if I remember, and we'll go from there. And I can also link them below so you will know where you can grab product mock-ups for yourself. All right, so we're going to go to the little wrench, insert a file. Mine is in um, Dropbox, so that's what I'm going to be using today. Okay, this first design I'm going to be using, I got on unsplash.com. It is a place that you can get free stock images, um, and I will link that below. So when you bring it in, you can automatically resize, okay? So I'm just going to resize it just slightly, and once you resize it where you want it, just click the arrow button and there you go you can see my so from here is where you're gonna want to pull your artwork and so I have an SVG shop on Etsy so I'm gonna pull some of those SVGs over for my artwork but any kind of artwork or hand lettering that you may do if you have an SVG shop this is a great way to display even if you just have an Instagram page for your business and you want to have cute quotes, this is a great way to do that and it not just be a plain white canvas with black writing. So, I'm gonna go ahead and pull in some of my artwork. Um, it's the same idea, we're gonna insert a file again. Now, this file you do want to be in a PNG format. That means it, it has a transparent background. So when I put the image on, you're gonna see the image below. The artwork will be on top of the image below. So. Okay, here we go. Sorry about that. Okay, so once you get your artwork in, at this point we're gonna resize. 
You want to make sure that you're on freeform magnetic so that it will be symmetrical. And you can move that in however you want. But that looks cute. And all of a sudden, we have a really cute design. The feathers remind me of Pocahontas. And for those of you that don't know, I'm a Disney lover through and through. So I use lots of Disney inspiration. All right, so this would be a really cute thing to throw up on Instagram or Facebook. And um, that is one way to do a product mock. So we're gonna start over. Now we are going to bring in a, we're gonna do a t-shirt mock. All right, so same thing. We're gonna insert a file. Um, Dropbox. All right, we're gonna pull this in. This mock-up, these style of mock-ups can be found on Etsy. It's um, one of my shops called The Simplistic Mint, and you can find all of these style mock-ups in there um, to use. Now, I will tell you, there are better ways if you have Photoshop and you're familiar with smart objects. There are better ways to do um, mock-ups. This is probably the quickest, easiest way, but just know there are a lot of different ways to do it, and there are some ways that are gonna look a little bit better. So, all right, so we've got our mock of our T-shirt in here. Now let's bring out our artwork. Again, you wanna just make sure that this is a PNG. Your artwork has to be a PNG. It will not work if it's not. All right, so resize it, and you'll see this little green circle up here. You can use that to rotate your image. So you wanna rotate it to get in line. Now if it's snapping on you and you're having difficult, you can turn magnetics off. That way it doesn't snap. Um, but make sure that before you resize that you have magnetics on, because here's what happens. It starts to distort the artwork. It is very easy to mess up. So let me turn magnetics back on. And if you're just moving it, magnetics can be off. It's mainly the resizing of it. And there you go. It's on there. Can y'all see? Beautiful. Whoops. Whoops. All right. So that's how to do a t-shirt mock-up. I think I have one more we can do. Insert a file. Dropbox. Okay, so resize your artwork however you want. Oh, my magnetics was on, so that kind of got all weird. Resize it in here however you want. That looks good to me. Oh, nope, it's too high. Let's do that. There we go. And you could use some of your previous artwork or you could even write in here. Just make sure you go to a new layer and you can just write in here. So. I'm gonna go to my brush smoothie 
This is probably my most commonly used brush. There you go. And you can, you know, move it. You can even recolor it if you wanted. Like say we wanted to give, here's a little quick tip. This little button here, I don't know if y'all can see that, but this little button here, press that button, and then you can get colors from over in other areas of your artwork. So let's say we wanted to use a shade of that pink. Once we get it, just move it over here. There you go. And there is something you could use for your social media. So thank you for watching today. I hope this helps you. I hope this is um, a way to help you do your social media stuff faster, or your mock-ups or your product images. And I would love to see what you create. Find us on Facebook, find us on Instagram. Um, don't forget to like and share and subscribe and we will see you very soon. Bye-bye.